uh, here with Shane Millard after today's loss to the Canterbury Bulldogs. Um, it, was a, it was a dour affair out there, pretty tight, not a lot of, uh, of real flashy play, just up the middle, plenty of errors, I guess that was due to the conditions. Oh yeah, due to the conditions, I think um, a, lot, a lot of our errors are based on, well, what I think is a lack of concentration sometimes from individuals. We've spoken about that last couple of weeks and um, at the moment we're just not giving ourselves a hope in hell to, to build any pressure to, um, to help win a game of footy. Yeah, it just seems any any time we step out of line, the referees are onto us, and I'm not, not sure whether it's uh, whether they're focusing on us holding down extra long or what it is. But we don't seem to be learning. Our discipline still seems to to suffer from it. So, so how do we turn that around? Well, again, I think a bit of concentration. I think our um, our co first up contact and what we do there's got to be better. I think our issue is I think our first couple of tackles was pretty good. I said, and then we uh, start losing the tackle around play three and four, and then we try and win it back again and then give a penalty away. But we give nine penalties away today and six of those are out of eight, getting Canterbury out of yardage. So, you know, we're just legging teams up too much. I thought their first half cage D, like defending our line, was very good. I thought the boys done a good job there. Um, but as I said, mate, just too many errors and too many penalties. Um, it, it just takes its toll, as you know. I know the style of play is, is similar to what the Rabbitohs are playing in the top grade. There's a couple of times we've had a, sh a shift there today. Didn't quite go to hand. Bang, it goes against this Canterbury run 80 metres and, and score a try. So in terms of our structure and the way we play the game, is that going to change from, from week to week now or are we still going to persist with you know, trying to shift that ball and hit, hit our outside men? Um, yes, and it depends. We, we sort of... Didn't train like that, to be honest, Flo. We wanted to um, sort of more, we call it bob set, but just stay at an edge. Um, then have a shot, play to play their edge and stay where... Try and move their big blokes around, essentially, today. Uh, and then just play through the middle of them, which I think we've been doing a really good job. When we've had our good wins, it's been just playing through the middle of teams that are playing flat and fast. Um, we've got a lot of young blokes, mate, that I think are still getting used to it. Um, at the speed of it. Um, I think everything goes good at training because no one's coming to whack you. Um, out in the game, um, you know, they get a lot of pressure put under them. But, um, you know, so, but they've got to start learning shortly. We're halfway through the year um, and they need to uh, start managing us better, like, getting us around the field. And um, we need to get to the back end, we need some more deliberateness with our kicks, the back end of sets. As I spoke to you before, we're. Um, we're in the top three for completion rates in the whole competition, which surprises a lot of people. But our biggest problem is we're at the bottom end of the, the whole competition for getting um, repeat sets. So we're not building any pressure at all. Yeah, there's not a lot of zing at the end, end of those sets, isn't there? The, 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 the kicks are fairly uh, predictable. All, you know, all credit to Dean Hawkins. He's, he's putting the right kick in. I just think we might need a bit more um, support around here, maybe a better kick chase, um, try and set up a little bit better, get ourselves to the right part of the field. But, I mean, he is a young fellow. It's round 14. There's a few young guys out there that are starting to see the toughness of this competition, to be honest. But next week, it doesn't get any easier. We're out against the Western Suburbs Magpies at Campbelltown um, for round two of the JT Shield. Shields. Um, what's what's involved for the week leading up to that one, mate? I think some of them need a rest, Dean Hawkins included. Um, poor old Dino's got about 10 stitches in his head at the moment. Um, yeah, it is a long year, and I'm very mindful of that as well. We've got a lot of young blokes there, um, playing for us. What's in store for the week is we'll cover it, review it, train on Tuesday. Um, we'll get stuck in it again on, on Thursday. Um, and we'll have captains on Saturday. Just a, a normal week, but obviously um, reviewing where we went right and where we went wrong, I guess. Um, at the moment, we seem to be reviewing the same thing, but and uh, eventually we're going to have to make a call and make some changes um, if they can't you know, deliver it on a consistent basis because they, they have been able to deliver it, and I guess that's what is pleasing. Uh, for such young blokes, but consistency uh, in their game now is, is what we need to find. All right, mate. Good luck for next week. Thanks for your time. Thanks, bye.